I hadn't considered the fact that paintings had such a strong historical and symbolic meaning to them, until one night my dad and his friend Simon were arguing over a painting. It was called the Arnolfini portrait. My dad said that there was a whole load of history behind it and a whole load of symbols. But on the other hand, Simon had a different view and said it was much simpler. This intrigued me, so I began to question what everything meant. As I began my research, I realized that paintings can teach you a lot about the past and our art history and religion are very closely linked. The Arnolfini portrait is an oil painting on an oak panel by the early Dutch painter Jean van Eyck in 1432. It was one of the most famous paintings of the Flemish art school during the Renaissance period. Jean van Eyck was born in 1390 in Massaic, Belgium. The Arnolfini portrait was his last painting and seven years later, he died on the 9th of July, 1441, aged 51. 51 years old was actually classified as an average death age. Two figures stand in a square room. They are the Italian cloth trader, Gervani, and his beloved wife, Constanza. The man on the left is wearing a very heavy coat, and he is wearing a very large top hat. With one hand, he gives a lazy wave in our direction, and with the other, he seems to be reading the pregnant woman's palm. The woman looks as though she is sad, but because she is wearing a bright green dress, she is in fact happy. And also, if you look closely at her dress, it looks as though she is pregnant. But Jean Van Eyck often painted women to look pregnant in his paintings because it was considered a fashion at the time. And if you look at her left hand, she is grabbing hold of her dress to make it look as though she is pregnant. But other people disagree with this and say she is doing this to emphasize the amount of fabric that's in it. For many years, people said that this was a wedding portrait because the woman is thought to be pregnant, which is possible because there's a statue of St. Margaret in the background, which symbolizes pregnancy. But at the same time, there's a statue of the Virgin Mary, which symbolizes that she wasn't pregnant. So we're stuck here because we're not sure if she was pregnant or not. Others add that the statue of St. Margaret symbolizes fruitfulness in their marriage. Constanza, sadly enough, had died a year before this portrait was painted, which makes some critics think that this was a portrait for in memory of Constanza. We are not 100% sure if they are husband or wife, but Panofsky, who contributed to the study of the Arnolfini portrait, argues towards the critics and says that this is in fact a wedding certificate, not a wedding portrait. Panofsky then shows the convex mirror in the, on the back wall with a wooden frame with pictures of Christ. Jeanne did not only reflect the couple, but also other two people in blue and red. They are thought to be Jean Van Eyck himself, because an inscription just above the mirror, which says, Jean Van Eyck was here, 1432. But the other one is unknown, and so far, no one has suggested to who it might be. The outdoor sandals on the floor in the bottom left corner have been taken off to show a sign of respect. And what I find amazing is that the painter was able to show the detail of wood in the sandals, such as oak. On the windowsill are some oranges, which in Bruges, oranges were a rare delicacy imported from the far south. The fruit and its blossoms were symbols of love, marriage and summer, which was a happy time of year. And doctors said to keep the oranges with you to stop you from catching the plague. Look at how Jean Van Eyck paints the detail of wood and brick against the cherries, leaves and sky. The dog could represent fidelity and also wealth because apparently the dog was a rare breed. And if you look closely at the dog, he is looking towards the viewer and has a human face to him. The chandelier on the ceiling has only one lit candle, which could symbolize God's all-seeing eye. And also, 
If this is a memorial portrait, the lit candle is a living man and the burnt out candles is a metaphor for the deceased Constanza. The Arnolfini portrait is a one of a kind and before this talk, you probably thought it was a painting with no history or symbolic meaning behind it. But now that you've listened to this talk, you can see art in a different way and think and spend hours talking and thinking about what different art means. It makes me wonder whether art is something that is objective or subjective. What do you think? Thank you.